Hi, I'm Rick Vespa with English Gardens, and I'm here with Pat Birch today, designer from our Clinton Township store. And Pat's going to give us some tips on how to decorate a Christmas tree. I'm going to start out with a beautiful silk flower here, which may not be so beautiful when it comes out of your shopping bag. All you're going to do is shape each petal to show how pretty each one is and to make it look like a natural poinsettia just by giving it a little fluff like that. And then I'm going to layer them into the tree. I place them intermittently around so that we get pops of the bright red poinsettia throughout the tree. All right, for my first layer, I've completed my poinsettias. They're a nice bold pop of red throughout the tree. For the next layer, I've got another type of silk branch here that has assorted Christmas greens, berries, red roses, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm shaping it so it looks more natural, and I'm going to place them throughout the tree as well. So now I've finished the placement of my silk branches, and I've got them dripping off the front of the tree, giving a little horizontal length to the tree. It's dressed it up, making it a little lacier. My next step, I'm going to grab some of my larger ornaments. I've got a beautiful hand-painted poinsettia here. I start with the larger ornaments because I can tuck them up inside the tree. Draws your eye into the center. All right, I've finished placing all my large ornaments, and I've, again, interspersed them around the tree. I'm going to place a few medium-sized ornaments now. Okay, I've finished the placement of my medium-sized ornaments. I chose different shapes, kind of a teardrop, a beet, and a round ornament. Add these beautiful draping gold fronds. Now, now we've got the reds and golds are the things that your eyes are drawn to. So I've finished the placement of my gold fronds, and I've also added the gold sleds just to add some more bling to the tree. And I found another medium-sized ornament that I really like that combined the gold and the red together. So I've added that as well. We also have some beautiful pine cones and branches. I'm going to add some of those in gold. And I have some glitter ones. I think they're going to bring out even more of the gold and bling in the tree. All right, we're almost in the home stretch here. I've finished my placement of my pine cones. Now we need a jewel for the top of the tree. And I've decided to put a beautiful bow on the top. Uh, we sell lots of ribbon here at English Gardens, and I made this bow out of our number 40 velvet gold trimmed ribbon. And I'm just going to attach it like the earrings that complete the outfit on the top of the tree. Yeah, this really is beautiful, and thanks so much for showing us how easy it really can be. If you need more help, stop into our store, pick up one of these holiday decorating guides, or talk to one of our experts. We also have some other videos, one on how to make bows and another to how to select and care for your lifelike Christmas tree. I'm Rick Vespa with Pat Birch, helping make your life more beautiful by making holiday decorating easier.